Hi everyone, I'm Dragon with you. So today I would like to talk about Iris. So this hero looks very attractive, uh, not uh, just the appearance, but the abilities and uh, what she can do with the opponent. So let's check the stats of this character, what she can do, her abilities, and then I would like to test some Iris teams over the top champions of my server. So I collected arena fighters. I also collected some teams from Guild Wars and would like to check if Iris teams can beat all of them. So first of all, let me start from the official livestream part where you saw her main stats. You see that she has impressive magic defense and at the same time armor penetration. So it's like a hybrid of anti-mages plus uh, removing the armor, which I really appreciate. Then we have her artifacts, so the artifact gives magic attack to the entire team and uh, also you see that two other artifacts look for health, intelligence, etc. So she's really intelligent. As I remember, she was a teacher of Cornelius, if I remember what Daniel said in the right way. Also we have uh, something here, so Exposed Soul, her first ability, she exposes an unprotected part of the nearest enemy and for 13 seconds you are able to do pure damage. So all the damage you deal to this character is converted into pure damage and dealt to the original body. So as a result you can do it with max health of the exposed soul over 800,000. And uh, if you check my Asteros stats now, then it's below this number. But I guess that for Ziri, for example, for Ziri that should be more and maybe Iris will have some trouble with Ziri. I'm not sure about that. Next we have uh, summon a familiar next to the farthest enemy on the battlefield. So the familiar makes its way back, biting the enemies along the way. Each successful bite deal more damage. So the first one deals 43,800 and each next plus this amount. So it depends on magic attack, so you need to buff her magic attack to make the pet work better. And uh, looks like this ability deals physical damage, but depends on magic attack. Yes, that's kind of strange, but uh, I think that's justified. Then we have Demonic Synergy. So upon returning to Iris, the familiar grants her the soul fury charges, accumulated by successful attacks, boosting the next basic attack. So extra damage she gets for each charge and uh, her attacks will deal a huge amount of damage. And the last ability is Iris partly absorbs the health of all of enemies on the battlefield and conjures a seed of destruction. The seed is then launched at the nearest enemy dealing physical damage equal to the total health absorbed. And we have health absorbed from each enemy 34,285, which also depends on magic attack. So to sum up, I would say that uh, we have to buff her magic attack really serious because three of her abilities depend on magic attack. And uh, also I would like to say that she kind of helps herself. So she gets the exposed soul, then gets a huge amount of damage straight into that from the pet, from her buff into basic attacks and from the seed of destruction. As a result, she can be your damage dealer and also can boost the effectiveness of your party because sometimes you need to go through super tanks like Asteros and Iris can help you doing that. Now obviously you remember that I used Chin Mao for that reason. So let's move back to the game. Uh, let's summon Iris. I'll show also where you can use her. So let's summon this character. Yes, here we go. So finally I received Iris. Let's check her image for some time. So actually that's a character which I would like to collect because uh, I think that uh, she can help me a lot, especially against some cases where you fight Asteros or Aurora. So these super tanks deal a lot of trouble to the teams. So. Uh, I can show you the basic stats, I already showed you the abilities, but at low rank they look like this. 
and uh, obviously I will try to bring her up maybe not just now but soon so next what I would like to show you is fight so let me try to find if Iris can fight with super guilds and uh, what what happens there right so I'm improved Iris's level and uh, now let's show you the glitz real quick we have magic attack then health magic defense arm of penetration and intelligence obviously what i would like also to highlight uh, is uh, just the characters she can fight with if someone was interested in her items let's check them right now real quick so that's the items she needs to get all the levels one skin obviously and uh, what boss she can fight at outland she can fight what jar at outland uh, i can't show you this but uh, so you see that if we go to options then we have characters including iris so what happens if she is not able to drag the entire soul from the opponent she drags its part which is allowed according to her power that's how it works so the more power she has the more she can drag and the more pure damage you can insert into the target so let me show you the fights i prepared at the guild battles so i prepared many teams which are kind of popular on this server and i'd like to show you how they are played and uh, how we can fight with them so if we take undead team so undead is here represented by corvus morrigan yasmin isaac against mages and Celest. so that's a powerful undead team then i found a key how to destroy this team with iris so let me show you the stats obviously iris gets more points because uh, her conversion into pure damage works as her damage and we have a team with dante with corvus dorian morgan the idea is pretty simple so we need to burn enemy yasmin as fast as possible and uh, that should work for us nicely let me show you real quick the fight how it went so if we play against corvus so obviously my corvus gets the totem yasmin starts dancing as soon as she starts do dealing poisonous damage she gets a huge amount of pure damage because her poison deals low pure damage no more yasmin uh, also remember that uh, here we have vulnerable celeste so celeste with her dark ground also burns real quick because of the totem and uh, now only two characters survived so with dante's extra damage we are able to go through also dante really helps against physical damage dealers with his dodge and that's pretty nice team with the iris what about dante so what can i do with a huge dante team like a blender you see that i performed many tests here and many of them were not successful but let me show you just a couple of them so here i collected a team of mages obviously we see that we have dante well then aurora with extra survival and the what i wanted to do is go through all this dodge so we have a team with a huge amount of dodge also with double negative effect removals and uh, to kill this team i just need either pure damage or magic damage that's exactly what i played so we have orion faceless and uh, not dorian but marsa why marsa because we need to survive against dante so she provides us with extra armor and she makes us faster in general also aurora is a nice tank i even got her cane so that she could dodge even better and uh, that's how the fight went you see that it works let me show you real quick how the fight went here so first change was uh, instead of undead team i played mages because we have huge dodge but no actually magic defenses and the second decision was uh, just to help my mages with her irises i mean activation what about dorian so if i play exactly the same team but uh, i change the marsa into dorian we don't have extra armor and the result is just slightly another i would say yes slightly of course is an irony just check what dante deals to my team we have some dodge from aurora which obviously helps but we have no armor and if we have no armor then dante just destroys my entire team so here i really needed to play marsa instead of dorian 
but in general, Dorian works nicely with her. Obviously, uh, before that, I had some more tests. Uh, they are deleted now, so let me check these tests and show them to you right now. So let me show you which teams I found against Kark. That's a strong Kark team taken from Arena. You can't rely on the buff here. But uh, anyway, you can rely on characters like Dodge, characters with Dante. So that's the stats for the fight. You see that uh, main damage dealer is Dante and Iris transformed physical damage into pure damage into the front line, which resulted in removing Asteros. Morgan was taken here because uh, I need to counter Asteros and probably that will make it easier. Also, we have dodge from Aurora and dodge from Dante into the entire team, which helps a lot of against Kark. So that's the first team which made it and uh, let me show you the fight, exactly how it went. So uh, a lot of dodges here. Also, we have armor penetration for Dante from Morrigan. And uh, I also tried to test this team on another Kark pack, but it didn't work. So this pack is more protective. It does not allow the buffs, but still you can remove it. So another option which I played against Kark, let me show you it real quick. Then I pick everything same, so I still play Aurora. I can get either Merlin here or Kane, whatever you want. Then we have Dante again. So Dante is our top character for dodge to counter physical teams. You can use Fenris or Kane as you wish. So uh, I probably I will get Kane into Aurora, why not, right? Iris will play with Oliver, as I told you, that's probably the best decision in general, but in some situations you may change it. Okay, so uh, also we need some kind of uh, anti-debuff, so that we could not stay in stun too long. And uh, finally, our tank, as I told you, will be Aurora with King. So let me just uh, share this fight and uh, check if we can win it against this team. So that's another option. Uh, I rely on anti-stun, so my characters should not stay in stun too long. That's why I play Sebastian here. Also bonus damage, and here we go. So the opponent team is dead, and we didn't lose anybody. So that's probably the team I wanted to share with you. Same team was used against another Kark team, which is more aggressive. So faceless clones Kark, faceless clones Nebula, which results into a huge amount of damage. So that's the third test. You see the victory here. And again, the idea is pretty same. So we don't allow Kark to debuff us. We use Sebastian for that. Also, Sebastian gets a crit hit chance. And the uh, extra cure damage if that happens. So that's how the fight went. You see that Sebastian perfectly works against Kark debuffs, faceless debuffs. They don't stay in stun for too long. They are able to dodge. And obviously, when Dorian stays near Iris, she can life steal much better. So that's how the fight went, and probably that's one of the teams I would like to recommend you to play if you want to try a physical team with Iris. What about other options? So when you see Maya team, uh, what should I do with Maya? And as gets uh, here, I'll get Albus as special. Also, I'm not sure if we really need Morgan here. Uh, maybe I would like killing of all my characters, that's Martha. So Martha will kill my entire team. This time I'll pick Martha. And uh, also we need a tank. So as a tank, I would recommend you Corvus. Corvus is a perfect tank against Maya, against Celeste. He also nicely works against Jorgen. So that's my team, which I would like to use. Uh, let's pick Albus here. And uh, for example, Biscuit here. Yeah. So that's the team I would like to use against uh, the opponent. Another team would be a Corvus Morgan team which is also effective. And uh, actually the aim of this team is just to make Corvus survive, make his totem burn everything on his path. And yes, so you see the first two characters were removed because they did a huge amount of little hits. As a result, the totem burned them down. That's exactly the plan, what I wanted to show you. So Corvus is the best damage dealer here and we don't even need Dante for this. Uh, let's move. Forward. So Leon, what to do with Leon? Against Leon and Arachne, we probably need Sebastian, right? So also we have Aurora here, so I would prefer to play Isaac. Isaac uh, with Mara, for example. Then we have uh, 
buffs the buffs right the buffs are removed uh, and uh, i also can play corvus here just to destroy everything uh, and uh, we play iris we play dorian that's the team i would like to check so with dorian we have lifesteal and uh, that's another option if you don't play martha but you play dorian then why not check this out he provides lifesteal from the front line which helps corvus also he gets the buff of attack and uh, that helps the entire team so you see that this team was just erased yeah just like this let me show you the stats real quick how it went so again iris potential best damage dealer but in fact you see that we have corvus as the best damage dealer okay so that was kind of fast uh, what can we do against odh we can do actually the same thing so we don't need to be afraid of stuns debuffs etc so let me just play isaac iris i don't think i need corvus here instead i would prefer rufus but i know that many of you don't play rufus right so instead i'll just play aurora to absorb some damage and uh, also i would like another character who will help me to remove everything so now i can get either dorian for this team as it was before uh, or i can get uh, some help for isaac to get even more aurora penetration right what should i get i can get morgan i can get uh, another damage dealer so options are actually options are i even can play phobos and just remove orion but also i remember that not many of you play phobos that's why that's why i just need to pick a damage dealer it can be dante but i don't like this option uh, so let me pick something more just uh, attacking right more attacking it can be kira why not and let's check the pet okay so can you play kira here i think yes let's just help isaac to remove everybody so kira and isaac are able to remove the entire odh team really fast let's check the stats so the main damage dealer was kira here isaac helped with armor penetration and that's the stats for this team and uh, what to do with kira blender so that's a huge problem for many teams kira blender can just destroy you in several seconds uh, to survive i would recommend using andvari once again i like to show that this tank works then we have iris just before we, <laughs> because we play iris right and uh, what else should i do i shouldn't play mages because we have isaac here i shouldn't rely on the buffs because we have sebastian here but i can actually just play yasmin yeah just as simple as that i can play yasmin and i'll need an armor penetration character so an armor penetration character uh, also may have uh, some evasion so i would prefer playing Shin Mao here not sure if it works but uh, let me try let me do this so we'll get albus into yasmin we'll get uh, kane into Shin Mao. she has a huge amount of dodge herself and uh, we will remove the front line thanks to iris i guess so can it work we will see i'm not sure because i've never tested that but let me see and show you too so here we go the fight begins my team already got some damage but no more yeah we did it guys so i managed to collect a team with yasmin with chinmao just as i play now with iris and Advari and Marsa. the idea was kind of simple remove the front line when we remove Advari, we have a vulnerable kira and when kira gets damaged she's dead that's it so i hope these teams uh, can help you let me remind them really quick so the first one is a physical team with yasmin chinmao and marsa and then Wari. the second team uh, which you can play i tried to use different characters so here i used kira isaac aurora dorian as supports to iris that also worked at situation versus odh if the opponent has the buffs and play sebastian we have mages so i played isaac we have uh, characters who are vulnerable to corvus i talk about faceless and lean so i play corvus as a tank
Uh, next thing I would like to highlight, oh, actually, I should the against them. If you face Maya team, then a good option would be to play Corvus. She can, he can burn Maya kind of fast. And uh, also to get Jorgen down, you can play Sebastian. To get mages down, you can get Isaac. If you play against Carpex, then remember you need to survive. Carpex are tough. And that's why I played here with uh, Dodge. So Dante plus Aurora provided Dodge for the entire team. And Dorian got more damage for Dante. So you can even play a Dante team here. And another option, another option was uh, to play uh, either Dante or uh, Orion. So I don't remember exactly where, but I tried to show Orion team, which worked against uh, Undead, I guess. So options are you can choose whatever you prefer. So I hope you can choose the team for yourself and use that effectively. Also, just a quick uh, reminder that you can fight Brog. Uh, not broke, but Bajar with us. Yes, Bajar with us. So the final part I would like to talk about is uh, this first ability, Expose Soul. So if you ask how to counter Iris, then basically I had two ideas. The first idea and the general answer, you see that her two abilities deal physical damage. So if you want to counter it, then actually you need to get some defenses, right? But she also gets pure damage, and uh, we have uh, health absorbed from enemy, which depend on magic attack. So she has three abilities depending on magic attack, and her buff improves her magic attack. So she kind of helps herself to be more effective, which I really appreciate. So the general answer how to easier fight with her is get some defenses. But we have another option. So exposed soul ability gets you pure damage instead of physical damage. And you see that we have max health of exposed soul. So if you just overcome this max health, I guess that should just re be removed. So let me show you some fights and uh, how it works. So what happens when your health is more than Iris can afford? That's a really interesting question and uh, I found an answer, so would like to share it with you. Uh, basically, we remember that Iris can be patronaged with several pets. The first option, which I often choose and which out of fight chooses, is Oliver. So Oliver allows you to make a, a soul of a bigger opponent. Also, I would like to highlight that Iris really needs extra health and armor because without extra skin, she is really vulnerable. I just showed you that in fights with Kark, she was removed like in first. So I would like to highlight, if you want her to survive longer, use Oliver. If you want her pure damage to more, give more damage, you may try to use Albus. Also, Biscuit buffs her magic attack. As a result, three of her abilities will work better. So I would definitely choose either Biscuit or Oliver. And uh, taking into account that you often fight with huge damage dealers, I would pick Oliver. So what exactly counters her and what is she effective against? So this test shows you fights when Iris she's patronized with Oliver, and here she is patronized with Biscuit. So obviously if you want to fight with Iris, I would test several tanks. So Andvari is obviously a great tank, he deals a huge amount of damage, and the why I think Andvari counters her is because he has special ability, which blocks pure and physical damage, so actually both her types of damage. You see that here, even with some healing, she made it, she got the Andvari soul and tries to deal damage, but this defense does not allow her to do much. So even with extra buffs, she can do nothing to Andvari. So Andvari is a generally effective tank, I would say, which helps many characters, and that would be a great answer to Iris. Also, I tested some other options, so I thought about Rufus. You will see that Rufus actually is a great tank who can resurrect himself when gets pure damage. That would be a second counter, but we have a thing which I would like to highlight. So if you play Iris versus Rufus, obviously you would like to play Morrigan. So Morrigan blocks his resurrection, and as a result, uh, we 
can finish Rufus actually. So that's how you counter Rufus, and if the opponent does not have Morrigan, then Rufus feels just perfect, so he resurrects all the time, and he can play with Iris as long as you need. So that's the second option. The third option, which I assumed as a soft counter, is Corvus, but with Corvus you see that we have defeats. The problem is that he can't finish in time, and uh, if Iris is patronized with another character, then he can. I'll show you that fight. So now they both have Oliver over them. You will see this healing. And uh, a huge amount of damage is dealt to Iris because she deals many little hits and gets back. So I would say that he can be a soft counter. And yes, obviously uh, damage dealers will kill her fast. But we're not, not talking about that. And another good option against Iris is Lilith. So if you play Lilith, then Iris can try her hard to remove her, but she can do nothing. So it's like an ex-wife or archdemon demon versus his daughter, I guess, right? So it's like a family family duel, I would say. And uh, I don't think that it should be a spoiler. Just check how fast Lilith grows her power. And she already has more health than this duplicated clone. So even with all the tries of Iris to do something to Lilith that does not work. And uh, another important thing I would like to highlight that when Lilith becomes a super titan, Iris is not able to drag the entire soul. So she drags a copy which has less health, and that's how game mechanics work. So if your tank has more health than she can afford, then she drags a soul with less health. And when the soul is removed, then the ability stops. So I thought that maybe she will not be able to do the cloning, but she is still able to do that. And my mean, last test was against Lilith, and you see that uh, when Iris didn't have any healing, then Lilith managed to win, actually. So that was not just time out, but Lilith managed to remove Iris. And uh, some everything I would really recommend you to place Oliver on Iris, because she is still really vulnerable. If you want to counter her, use Andvari, because Andvari is a generally effective tank. He helps against many characters. And uh, Lilith and Rufus also can play with her. If you play a strong Corvus, then Corvus can play with her, but defend him and heal him properly. So that's actually four options I would like to recommend for you against Iris. That's how you can counter her. At least try. Okay, so thank you for watching. I hope this information helped you to understand Iris better and uh, collect nice teams too. See you in the next videos and good luck to you.